is 7 News. Thank you for joining us for 7 News at 10. I'm Tara Bates. The city of Granfield recently received a FEMA grant to install a new storm siren. 7 News reporter Seth Marsicano made the trip over to speak with the mayor, emergency management, and a resident on how this could potentially save lives. Tara, with the addition of this third storm siren, officials say the entire city will be able to receive the same warnings when severe weather hits. Storm sirens in Grandfield give off an all too familiar sound when severe weather hits Oklahoma. Built to warn people and give them time to take shelter. However, in the north part of the city, the warning doesn't reach. In 64 years of my life, they had a siren of town and we didn't have one over there. So, how do you think that feels? An issue Mayor Paula Schoonover became aware of when she ran for her second term as mayor. I was quite shocked to, to know that they didn't, they didn't have one. At the moment, Grandfield has two sirens, one above City Hall and one near the high school. Severe weather and even just heavy rain, the chances of hearing the audible tornado sirens in town decreased significantly. So the fact that they could not hear tornado sirens at all in town even on a blue sky day that unfortunately could cause people to lose their lives however all of that changes after the city was awarded a 75 25 cost split grant for a new storm siren something the city would not have been able to acquire otherwise and according to mayor schoonover this will run the city around five thousand dollars they've just always been self-sufficient and kind of watched the weather them themselves which is easier today than it was, you know, 20, 30 years ago, but still I want them to have the same warning system that we have on, in the rest of the town. Even though Rollins has since moved out of North Ward, he's appreciative someone took the time to make this happen. It's a good thing that is there. And, you know, it probably may, it may save somebody life, it may not, but you know that it's there now. Officials say the siren will be placed in Martin Luther King Jr. Park to make sure North Ward can receive the same warning as the rest of the city. Mayor Schoonover says the siren will be fully installed before the end of the year.